Hi, I'm Patton Oswalt, star of the show Eric Koenig and the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on ABC. Um, I'm that's here, the show I That's the see. show, that's the one. Uh, I'm here moderating uh, the 100th episode roundtable with the cast of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That's right, 100 episodes, you made it. Um, I wanna ask, uh, do any of you remember your first line of dialogue from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Do you remember what your first line of dialogue was? I think oh. mine was, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Oh, it was. Yeah, it was. Mine meant pretty. Sh Sorry, go ahead. Oh no, I, no, no. Do you really know? Uh, mine was the, the the voiceover for the pilot, and I don't know. I don't. Was it the? Mine was manos arriba. Oh, oh. What is that? that was mine too. Hands up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know. No. I talked to Daisy. I remember that. Yeah. I don't know that. I remember being sick as a dog on my first day. Yeah. I, I had the really? massive so flu. Sick. And you had to get thrown into a wall. Yeah, and I got and my voice was like this. <laughs> so we ADR everything, so I don't remember. You had to come back in and ADR all of your lines on the, on that the first, first day. Wow. Yeah. And you still yeah. don't remember them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nope. <laughs> something yeah. like something like she got away. Of the hundred episodes you guys have done, like what scene has been the most impactful for you as an actor, or do you think for your character, for in terms of where they then went after that scene happened. One of the scenes that was very impactful for my character and for me was doing the scene where I get my powers. They were like, okay, so you're just gonna have to just stand here, the shell, the husk is gonna come off you. So break the husk off you and then see BJ's dead and then look at Raina, she's an inhuman. This is literally what they go, they, Raina. do it super slow. Yeah, so they go, and so all she's. all that needs to happen in well, 98 said, frames. So they go, look at, look at BJ, then look at Raina, look back at BJ, she, they go, Get emotional, cry. <laughs> so basically, cry, and then your powers come in, and then, and then like, yeah, do this thing. And so they said, but you have to. You only have 15 seconds to do Ooh. all of that. <laughs> but uh, that was a significant. Yeah, a lot of you guys have, have been in some pretty um, heavy special effects scenes where you've had to do what you just described. There's stuff that's not here that you have got to react to and have human emotions with. So was that was that weird for? Was that a first time for you ever? Doing oh, that in yeah. you guys? Our scene where <coughs> hope disappears, we had to be crying because he just lost his daughter and things start to disappear in the room. Mm -hmm. So Bailey, the director, we would be bawling and he would go, pause, and they would run in, take the table away, and we would have to stay like that. They would take the table and a couple of pieces of furniture, then they would go, action, and we would have to start right where we left off it's so like, it would like match. It's like the kids game, right? The freeze, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. the freeze. But emotional yeah, freeze. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah. And then <laughs> emotional and freezing, yeah. yeah. Fre freeze! Keep that tear right there. And the tear would be like. <laughs> you're like, I've been in that position where you're like trying to keep that tear in, you're like, just wait, just wait. <laughs> and oh, and the poor girl playing Oh, I mean, that she was in Henry's arms and she would be screaming, don't let me die, I'll help you. Yeah. You would just see her like looking at Henry, <laughs> terrified because, you know, you had to be emotional and then just completely start again. You know, you, you guys have been part of some of the most intense episodes on this show. Elizabeth, there's a whole bottle episode of you on another oh, dimension. Yeah. That, that's like one of the best episodes of the show. That's yeah. the most written about. You have, have gone into space twice to rescue her, gave her the last breath of oxygen. Like, what is it like being this in a show that is huge comic book action, but you are the intense kind of heart and soul of it. How does that feel in the middle of all of this? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it feels great. I feel like we've, we've, you have to earn those moments. You have to earn those big emotional beats. Um, so it's really, the build up to it's always really fun and us kind of having our little quips back and forth. And it just feels like we're in a team within a team, which is just a really nice, safe place to be. Yeah, there is a real comfort in it, you know, and especially, you know, off, off camera when you're having a bad day and a bad scene and you feel like you can't, you know, and you're agonizing over it, agonizing over it. It's always nice to have Elizabeth, or, you know, there, because she always just kills it every time. So it's nice to have that to fall back on. And then also, I don't, you know, I don't think it's a coincidence that those characters are actually kind of based on uh, Mo and Jed, our writers, you know, and they kind of have that, they have a very similar relationship in real life, this kind of yeah, one the, that you... The, the material that they give us to say is just so yeah. brilliant. You really don't have to do much to make it. Yeah, yeah. And, and they really yeah. developed you two very organically and very realistically. Have there ever been scenes or just even a couple of lines of dialogue where you, either one of you or both have said, this isn't how Fitzsimmons would say this or this doesn't feel like, or has it always been really spot on and that's how they would do it or? Yeah, always been spot on, I think. I mean, yeah, I think we've known as well the moments that 
mirror real life we've known about and I think that always makes it like adds a lot of yeah I don't know, there is also you know <laughs> there is a side to it that like when we first started we were very adamant that like we are you know <laughs> we are good friends and we're, yeah. I think we kind of finished you know as as we finished the sentence of saying like I mean, we see each other like brother and sister. Yeah. Oh no, we are definitely kissing in the next scene. <laughs> and so that was so like it has been. There has been moments where we've gone through, you know, for, you know, first kisses and stuff like that that have been. Yeah. I find very very <laughs> you're, you're turning red right yeah. now. Am I? You are. I'm sure I wasn't already red. <laughs> no. But those are the same for everybody's characters because at the start of this we yeah. didn't know where any of our characters were going to go, and so each episode it was like, oh, I don't, I, you know, I, my, my mom died when I was four. Oh, I didn't realize that, you know, it was kind of. I think we can all speak to that that we all learn about our characters as we carried on filming and. You know, it's not like a movie where you know where you're going to get to at the end. It's yeah, like right, every right. episode is kind of... Every week there's new information. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Um, so I want to ask a couple of individual questions. Uh, Clark, at the and, and at this point, if you're watching this, you don't yell spoilers at me. This happened last season, so catch up. But at the end of season four, Coulson made a deal with the Ghost Rider. And how do you think the terms of that deal are now weighing on Coulson or... Mm -hmm. mm. How did you feel when you read that in the script? Like, wait a minute, Coulson's doing this, and well, there's a scene. In, there's a scene in that episode you're talking about at the end of season four where he's saying goodbye to Robbie Reyes, mm -hmm. who's going off on a dimensional road trip, and um, as you do, as you do, as you do, um, in the Duster of Destiny, and uh, he uh, <laughs> and he says, he says, um, you understand what you've just done something to that effect, and I was like, I don't, actually, no, I don't. I need to, <laughs> Jeff Bell, <laughs> Jeff, Mo. Did they tell you? I don't really know, and oh, they said okay, no, so. because it was actually really interesting, one of those things where, <sighs> here's what we know. We know that there is a cost to be paid here, and this is gonna come back around, and that's about all that they said, and as you get further into this season, it becomes clear that that's something that's going to, that's a do, that's a bill that's going to come due in this season. That leads me to Chloe. Your character has been, I love what they've done with your character in that first you're this outsider, investigative reporter, I'm gonna take down the deep state, then you're made a part of the deep state <clears throat> while you're trying to control superhumans, then you become a super, like, it's almost like each thing that you are about to take down, you are then brought into it. So, mm -hmm. and, and you are playing this you're a superhuman that remembers when you used to be kind of, I want to expose these people or, or normal or whatever. So how do you find that balance between, because every aspect of Chloe, Sky, Quake is there in, in how you play the character. So how's that been? I, I don't think I found that balance yet. It <laughs> okay. feels a little crazy. Um, the fact that I didn't even audition, like, you know, I, I've had like 900 names. It was it was Sky when I first started, and mm -hmm. um, my motive kind of my like uh, my shallow motive has kind of changed constantly. But I feel like it's all she's always been driven towards finding um, at first it really just being a part of something, being a part of a family, and that was always kind of her motive. So it's been a, it, it has been a ride for sure. Yeah, I never know what my hair is gonna look like, what kind of clothes and what my name will be. So I feel like every season it's just, I feel like I'm playing somewhat of a different character, but also kind of exactly the same. Wow. Um, I wanna do two more quick questions, one for Ming and then one for um, <clears throat> Henry and Natalia. Um, you started off, your character was the Calvary, which, and everyone was like, don't call her the Calvary, yeah. Which, you know, I, which, which it plays like a joke line, but then when you, in the episode Tracks, you actually see that being the Calvary means doing some pretty violent and scary stuff. So Horrible. what was the journey, yeah. yeah. So what's the journey been from being the Calvary to where, um, where she is now? To where May's gotten now, like what's that been like? Well, it's interesting because the first time you see May, she's behind a desk and she's kind of, extricated herself from everything that she believed about herself and her love of what she wanted to do mm -hmm. because of this traumatic thing that, as an actor, I had no idea about. Mm -hmm. And then when that story finally came out about Bahrain and about her having to make a choice to 
kill a young child while she was in the process of wanting to start her own family with Andrew. And, and that's what devastated her. And, and yet everybody else saw her as a hero because she saved all these S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. Um, but for her, it, it was a choice that gave her um, the, I think, that, that wall that she puts up that mask of, I'm not gonna care about anything. Uh, okay, Colson wants to recruit me and bring me back. I'm doing it because of our, you know, my loyalty to Colson. Right. And- But then there was also the reveal that you had been co-opted by Nick by Fury Nick to be Fury. keeping an eye on me. Because he I- knew the truth. Yes, I knew the truth, but, I, but I've always cared about Colson and so much to want to do something completely against what she wanted to do. And, uh, and now, you know, now I think it's, it's interesting to have May be sort of this maternal figure. To an inhuman. To an inhuman. <laughs> not just, but not just Robin, her, but what they're doing this Robin. season with Robin. Yes, yes. Oh, especially that, you know. It's, it's been, it's been. Uh, I love seeing May in that. I yeah. think it's, so yeah. Yeah. It was, it's such a beautiful balance to yeah. But that's what's so amazing story. about our writers. Like I, I keep asking, I was like, is this what you foresaw, foresaw all these years? Or is it just, just this organic process of yeah. us being given the gift you know, by ABC, by Marvel, to continue telling all this middle part of our story? Yeah. You know? It's fantastic. And one it really last quick question for Henry and Talia. You, you two have been put through the ringer physically on this show. You're, all, you have a, <laughs> you're at the point where you have a shotgun ax now because you know <laughs> awful stuff is coming for you guys. <laughs> so what, what has that been like, the, the kind of emotional highs and lows? Because also, you're in the middle of some of the more intense action sequences and they've added this whole other emotional element to it. So what's, what's that been like? Oh, I love it. I'm very grateful to get to do that because <clears throat> when my... Role started, I thought it was gonna be mostly physical. And like Elizabeth said, you kind of earn those moments in the show. So to be able to get those moments as an act, firstly, just as an actor is, you know, it's a well of gratitude, but just also we become dear friends, getting to do it with a really close friend and an actor that you respect and not just action stuff or short little scenes, but actually meaty scenes that we can work on. It's just really incredible. Yeah, I mean, I, I find it um, an honor, honestly, that they even ask us to do heavy material like that because it, it means that they believe in us. And, mm -hmm. and I mean, and to actually do it, I, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. I love every challenge that they give me. It, just because it, it, uh, uh, it connects me more to the character, uh, something I enjoy personally, and um, it, it just creates more layers. It makes the character more complex as well. I have to say, like everyone, this show is hard. Like this might be like a Marvel show where we're in space and we're fine, but every single person here is so incredible. At the, I mean, it's physical. There's stunts. They, everyone has high comedy stakes. chops. It's high stakes. It's but everyone can bring it when emotions need to be brought. Dramatic. I mean, it's such an impressive group of people to be stuck on a show with for this long. <laughs> it's such an amazing group of people. Like I'm just feel really lucky even just sitting here just getting to do this because it's, I mean, yeah, I everyone here I had these huge moments. And the Canings raised our game. They really did. They really did. I, I showed up and I really raised the game. Huh. Folks, that, we're gonna end on that. Thank you so much. Keep eating your Golden Frosted Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. cereal. <laughs> and uh, we really appreciate it and we'll see you on episode Thank you 200. Thank, Thank you so much.